A preliminary new report blames excessive rainfall from our wet winter storms for the landslide that destroyed eight homes in Rolling Hills Estates. The slope failure last July on Peachtree Lane left several other homes uninhabitable. The report ordered by the city is one of several being prepared in the wake of the devastating landslide that forced dozens of residents to evacuate. And with another wet winter ahead, residents are understandably on edge. KTLA's Rick Chambers live in Rolling Hills Estates with more on that report. Rick. Yeah, Mike, it's been only four months since the collapse happened, and this is the first investigative report to be made public, and it kind of steers any liability for the slide away from the city and the county. But members of the HOA tonight are skeptical. When the ground shifted more than 40 feet under Pear Tree Lane back in July, at least a dozen homes here in Rolling Hills Estates were either destroyed or heavily damaged. Since then, two separate investigations have been underway into the cause of the slide, one by the city and county, another by the homeowners. And today, the city released a preliminary analysis done by the firm of Geokinetics out of Irvine, stating in part, the primary factor that caused the Pear Tree Lane slope failure was the unusually heavy rainfall that occurred during the winter of 2022 and 2023. They also added that changes in hillside vegetation and prior failures along the slope may have also contributed. But some residents of the community are questioning that report. Attorney Stephen Blum represents many of the people affected by the landslide. He told KTLA 5 tonight that the city's claim that the heavy rainfall caused the landslides sounds like a self-serving act of God defense. The homeowners, he said, deserve better. They have lost their homes and nearly all of their possessions. They deserve an objective investigation. And he pointed to things like possible human factors, storm drain deficiencies, for instance. Now, repairs to the hillside and to the homes will likely reach into the millions of dollars. FEMA may help with some of that. It has, in fact, already received a copy of the report. But homeowners may be looking to local governments for financial reimbursement. The HOA geological investigation is still underway, and final decisions in all of this may eventually be made in the courtroom. So legal action is possible somewhere down the road, but a lawsuit has not been filed at this point. In Rolling Hills Estates, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in Hollywood.